blocked roads. Confrontations with police, a far cry from the message Spain's Prime Minister hoped to bring to the city. A headache for the politicians aiming to turn the page on the Catalan crisis. If there had been doubts about resolving it, then Friday's events certainly proved them right. I don't care about what Spain do. I will stay here, I will um, share my opinion and I will follow this movement to achieve our independence. They just came here to show us, to show everybody that this is their homeland and that we don't have anything to do. The Spanish government's decision to hold a cabinet meeting here in Barcelona was, according to them, supposed to be a symbolic show of reaching out to the region. But for the independence protesters here, it's being seen nothing as more than a provocative show of force. And it's just an example of how the bitter divide between the two sides remains, and it shows little sign of resolving yet. While 9,000 police officers secured the streets, just down the road in a medieval palace surrounded by a sizable security cordon, Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez held a meeting with his cabinet. An area of relative calm away from the outpouring of anger outside. But the Spanish government has insisted it's doing this to advance talks with the Catalan leadership. This is the only possible proposal. The situation cannot be solved by continuing to fight one another. It will only be solved through dialogue, negotiations and a deal. That's what Pedro Sánchez is offering. Both sides can't agree how to solve this. Spain's government continues to maintain the crisis can only be resolved within the law. But the Catalan government doesn't agree and sees it as a political maneuver to deny it further independence from Madrid. At this moment, we do not agree on what is the origin, what is the nature of the conflict and how to solve it. So we either start talking regularly, seriously and with the best... Uh, um, with the best aim to, to, to keep moving forward, or this is not going to work. It has been 14 months since the outlawed referendum which triggered the current crisis. Emotions are running high on both sides, but no path has yet been carved out to resolve the current standoff. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Barcelona.